Noon, former Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm appearing before the U.S. Senate Committee on Energy and Natural Resources for a confirmation hearing on her nomination to become the next leader of the U.S. Department of Energy. Political reporter Rick Alvin is in the newsroom with some of what has happened in the hearing so far. Rick? Well, there have been a lot of questions, of course. Former governor faced mostly polite questioning from members, everything from drilling for oil on public lands and reducing greenhouse grasses, uh, gases was covered. Governor laid out her vision if she becomes the head of the Department of Energy. I'd like to share a bit about the focus that I'll bring to the Department of Energy if I'm confirmed. I'll focus on, uh, the DOE does a huge number of things, but I want to uh, talk about three missions. First is the security of America through the National Security, Nuclear Security Administration and the cleanup of that Cold War legacy, ensuring that we can protect our nation. Second, uh, supporting the amazing amazing scientific work that's being done at the DOE's 17 national laboratories and other facilities across the country, including on climate change and emissions reductions. And third, taking that research to scale, deploying it to create jobs for Americans. She was also questioned about some energy firm startups here in Michigan during her time as governor that failed after heavy investment of federal and state tax money. Granholm said she was proud of her energy record and uh, as governor and said she hopes that, quote, we don't look at some failures along the way as a reason not to invest in new energy technology. Emily? And Rick, is there any worry that she won't be confirmed? No, I, re I really don't think so. I mean, you, you never know until the vote is taken, but given what the makeup of the Senate is going to be, and given the fact that her introduction to date came not only from U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow, who happens to be on that committee, but also uh, remotely from U.S. Congressman Fred Upton, a Republican. So you have a bipartisan introduction, uh, and we've heard no indication that there's any major uh, opposition to her confirmation. Okay, Rick Albin, thank you.